taking off like a Boeing. If the volume spikes, then it's time to trade. Mighty 90 setting up, it's time to get paid. Dr. Chad on the mic, time to get focused. We don't need any indicator, hocus pocus. It's all about the price, just watch it move. Manage your risks so you don't lose. First hour of trading is all we need. Focus on the patience and forget about greed. What is up, everyone? Happy Tuesday, September 24th, 2024. Market's up a little bit today. Dow futures up 100. NASDAQ futures up 55. S&P futures up 9. VIX pretty flat. It's down about a half a percent or, or 0 0.09. It's come down over the last couple of hours. I might still go ahead and do my one DTE with it being pretty, you know, it's it's not, uh, it's, it's pretty flat really and not um, too far down. So not, not much of a contraction. That's up one and a half percent. Baba up six and a half percent, Baidu up five percent. So something going on with Baba and Baidu. Most everything else is up a little bit to flat. I'll get right here in about 10 seconds. Bell has rung. Look at my one DTE, so bear with me here. Trying to get filled on my one DTE.
And just like yesterday, struggling to get filled. Gosh, dang it. Still not getting filled. There we go, finally. Tighten it up a little bit. In my OCO order. All right, got that all taken care of. Now I can focus on, are we getting any volume? Netflix pushing up, Meta pushing down. Volume looking a little light, I'm not seeing really any potential volume runners yet.
NVIDIA, about halfway there. Tesla pushing through highs. NASDAQ up 45, S&P up 4. Nvidia doesn't look like it's going to get there. Got about 30 seconds. Still might be able to get in a continuation, a little continuation to the upside if it pulls back a little, though. S&P coming down a little bit, though. And so NVIDIA, I mean, it's coming down to yesterday's high. It's might jump in a little upside continuation. And if it blows down through yesterday's high, then I would probably bail on it. And we use I use the three days to expiration. 117 calls. Yeah, I was trying to jump in at 225, and then it popped up. I'll just leave it there. There we go. Build it 223. So I would close half at 250. This would be a quick trade if it pushed down through this blue line here, which is yesterday's high. If it, if it pushes down through and looks like it wants to stay below it, I would just get out of it. There's some mighty nineties.
I have a tight range in NVIDIA, so I need it to move. Apple down through lows of day. Netflix trying to come up to highs of day. Tesla through highs. That's what I wanted uh, NVIDIA to do right there, what uh, Tesla did. Video's kind of hanging in, hanging out where I got in. in hindsight, I should have maybe did Tesla. It was the stronger of the two. It's up over two and a half percent now. Video's been on pretty choppy lately. hasn't hasn't gone far. VIX down about two thirds of a percent. One DTE is up, up about eight percent already. Still no mighty 90s, just getting some stair stepping down. Netflix was close. Yeah, that's well, technically that's a mighty 90, I guess. Didn't quite get as big as the first, but Netflix strong today. <clears throat> Baidu came down through lows of day. I've watched a lot of NVIDIA price movement over the last few weeks, and I've noticed a, an initial push up a lot of times, and then it just chops the rest of the day or 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 just works itself lower chops and slowly pulls back. Well, that's not the case here. <clears throat> Roku through highs of day Netflix trying to get above yesterday's high Coinbase may be getting a big volume bar. We're going to order at 250. Close half my NVIDIA. See, Roku might be getting a mighty 90 short here. As long as that bar doesn't get as big as the first. Well, Roku's got it's kind of some wide, that's a kind of a wide bid ask. Thanks. Oh, now the bar just popped up even more. 
That looks like it's going to get an upside volume runner now. So scratch that. Not going to get short Roku here with that bar growing. Microsoft through lows of day. Just tighten up a little bit. And now NVIDIA popped, came down, went through yesterday's high, but immediately popped back up. So keep an eye on it. Roku didn't quite get there, but it was close. So Nvidia needs to needs to pop back up. Yeah, it needs to stay up above yesterday's higher. I'm gonna close it. Yeah, Coinbase got uh, volume bar as big as the first. I mean, it's just like maybe a tick lower, but I've played those as volume runners before. Wind base coming down a little bit. See Coinbase, I would trade the 170 calls. I was trying to get filled at 520, did not get filled. Five twenty-five. Man. A little at 535 in coin. Not the best fill. I would close half at 585. S&P through lows of day.
not liking Nvidia. It needs to it needs to get going up. It is trying to stay above yesterday's high, though. I'll give it that. Going on here. There's a mighty 90 long and goog. Uh, I was just looking at goog. I was going to say the 162.5 calls, but it's already popped up. So I'm just going to wait on it. Yeah, missed it. I liked Goog because it had a push down with that volume pop as well. It had, it had both. Microsoft, Mighty 90 Long, staring me right in the face. Four thirty calls in Microsoft. Go to three forty five. Really close half my Microsoft at three eighty. Or when it gives me two consecutive green bars. Tesla pushing up to highs of day. Okay. S&P really coming down, though. Microsoft. Let me add to Microsoft here. Trying to add it three fifteen. Coinbase has not taken off yet. In fact, it is pushed down. Well, there we go. Filled at three fifteen on Microsoft. 
And Coinbase is kind of pushed down past my exit. Closing coin. So at four seventy to close coin. Wow, want to see a failed volume runner? That's it right there. NVIDIA not working out either. And did some news just come out? Wow. Okay. Closing NVIDIA. Little a dollar ninety nine to close NVIDIA. Well, 25 point move down in S&P since the open. Wow. Had to have been some type of news come out or something. But I don't think there was much going on today. Ah, uh, Michelle Bowman, that's 8 a.m. Central. Consumer Confidence came out. Yeah, consumer confidence. <clears throat> so sometimes when numbers come out, they go your way, and sometimes they don't. Yeah, Goog's definitely got another mighty 90 opportunity. Coinbase now with a big volume bar to the downside. Wow.
What a move. So Goog, yeah, nice looking mighty 90. Goog, I would trade the 160 calls. Sold at 305. Close half at 335. MU had a mighty 90. AMD had a mighty 90. I chose Goog. One DTE could use a little bounce now. So could my Microsoft. I have definitely been on the right side of those before. Apple's got a mighty 90 long. It's a nice looking one as well. Amazon continuing lower. Every indice in the red now. Apple coming down to yesterday's close, too. I jump in here in Apple Mighty 90 as well. On the 225 calls. Build at 325. You can get a better fill of me. Close half at three sixty.
Duke trying to give us one green bar. Microsoft trying to give us one green bar. So I'm in three mighty 90s. In times like this, when you get a flush, it's not, it goes against you. Like I really like doing mighty 90s because there are really strict, I mean, it's it's black and white rules for mighty 90s. For continuation runners and even volume runners, well, volume runners has some pretty strict too, but um, for you know continuation runners, there really isn't strict rules. And so, you know, Mighty 90, you're looking for two, two bars consecutive in the direction you need. So in this case, two consecutive green bars. And so I like being structured like that in a time when there's a big move against you. Go to 335 and Goog to close half. Close another Goog at 365. Nice little bounce back there. I got my one DTE. Need a, need a push up in Microsoft. That's the one I was underwater in quite a bit. Build at 365 to close another Goog. So I'll be closing my goo here at the end of this bar. We got four left. Nice bounce back in Netflix. I'm going to go ahead and close my goo here.
trying to close Goog. Come on. Still at 345 to close Goog. Nice mighty 90 winner there. Now, I still need two consecutive green bars out of Microsoft. See, Apple, I may be adding to it. Apple gets down to about 295, I'll add to it. It's a pretty ugly start today. In terms of TLC, I, I wouldn't be wouldn't be adding or putting on a TLC trade yet. And you hit these all time highs. I've said this many many times. You've always got it usually follows like you're getting a, a day or two of just some big down moves. That's why I hate when they. S&P hits all-time highs all the time. No add an apple, darn it. I was kind of hoping to add in that. <clears throat> Still might, I guess. It's coming back down.
Again, trying to add it. 295 in Apple. Put that at 290. Comes down to 290, I'll add. You can kind of see here, it's got yesterday's low is here, here another key level right here, too. So if it does come down yesterday's low, I could see it bouncing off that. Price movement has definitely slowed down a little bit, though. Starting to see a little consolidation in the S&P. Microsoft, I have a big thorn in my side right now. I had a couple pushes down. I mean, still, that's a good, that's a good mighty 90 setup. I mean, that is some stellar volume pop right there. And another push down to almost the pivot. So I'm not I'm not upset with my trade in Microsoft. That that's something I, I take that usually every time when I get a setup like that. Tesla coming down to the lows of day. Okay, so there comes there comes Apple a little bit more and it, it has a Great mighty 90 setup too. All right. Build it 290 to add to Apple. And Microsoft. That is not good. Tesla getting a mighty 90 long. Yeah, that's a good looking mighty 90 long too. Yeah, I doubt uh, Tesla's going to let you get in. It's popped up already. I have an order at 320 to close half my Apple.
Not much green in Microsoft today. Yeah, AMD's got a mighty 90 as well. I mean, it's, there's, there's been some good setups, some really good setups. It's not like I don't feel like I'm jumping in trades that aren't good setups. I just have one, I have this Microsoft Mighty 90 that is just done nothing but come down. And that that's that's the that's the issue with mighty nineties. I mean, I get that question all the time. Like, when do you finally decide to just cut your losses? You know, because it's like, well, I'm sure I'm sure it'll give two consecutive green bars at some point today. But like, when you know, how, how much can you let it just continue to go against you? And that's that's a tough question to answer. You kind of got to have a idea of that based on your position sizing. Yeah, I mean, I, I I like the Tesla Mighty ninety two. I mean, it's a good looking setup. See if Tesla comes down here. I would trade the two fifty two point five calls in Tesla. Filled at 485. Filled at 485 in Tesla. I would close half my Tesla at five. Let's just go 550. Let's see if we can get a little more out of it. And Microsoft. Yikes. Brutal. S&P down to yesterday's low. Need a bounce. One DTE needs a bounce as well.
I wouldn't have blamed you if you would have cut your Microsoft by now. This is um pretty brutal push down. It's been a while since I've gotten in a mighty 90 where it's let's see, since the since the original mighty 90, one, two, seven red bars out of eight. That is brutal. Apple, same thing. Five red bars after the Mighty 90. Let's see if this green one can give us a green one here. Tesla trying to give us a green bar. Apple trying to give us one green bar. I'm not getting any profit targets though with these green bars. We need. All right, test the apple, one green bar each. S&P just kind of hovering right around yesterday's low. Crazy thing is, is the VIX, yeah, it's only up two and three quarters percent. It's pretty, been a pretty big down move. It's been it was a 30 point down move from highs of day, which was in the first five minutes. S&P down to lows of day.
there really wasn't a ton of short signals either. I mean, everything's been long. There was a and Coinbase had an upside volume run, then it had a downside. Besides that, there really hasn't been any great shorts. Tesla coming back down. That's the right at lows of day. Tesla down to yesterday's high. And just a brutal, brutal day. No, I wouldn't. I'm not ready for TLC yet. Sure. I am about ready to add in Tesla, though. Build at 410 to add in Tesla.
here. See if I can get out of half my Tesla here. Got to order at 485 to get out of half half my Tesla. I'm not sure if I was muted or not, but I added to my Tesla at 410. I have my Tesla here. I got it 480. There we go. Filled at 480 to close half my Tesla. Thank you, Tesla. Get out of another Tesla at 5.30. Now, just need Apple to push up and Microsoft. Yeah, TLC is getting like, it's looking like it's showing a little consolidation here now. Let's see how high it rips up here before entering. Yeah, App Apple and Tesla look. Actually, all three of them look like they're gonna, they're getting um, two consecutive green bars here. So, and Netflix just went through highs of day. So I don't know what this market's gonna do here. If it looks like it's gonna want to rebound, let me let me uh, put SPX in here. Okay, so if SPX looks like it wants to push through right here, see how it push above uh, yesterday's open, uh, you know, it could keep going. Then I might just hold some of my contracts on these positions. If it looks like it wants to roll back over and stay within this range, then I probably would close them. To follow the rules, I mean, you should I should be closing them. We also just had an 11 point push up in 10 minutes, less than 10 minutes. And Netflix just went through highs of day. So yeah, it'd be interesting to see if, if S and P, if it, if it can get through this, key level right here or not. If it looks like it wants to get through that key level, then I may just keep some contracts on. Now, see, Netflix just got a big volume bar to the upside. S&P struggling a little bit. Let's 
So Microsoft getting a second green bar. So so I'm I'm gonna hold these and just see if we can get if we get another. But you know, exit exit at your own risk. If you if you want to exit these mighty nineties, they both have they all they all three have gotten two consecutive green bars. So exiting would be following the rules. Not exiting and seeing if we can get more upside here. Would be not following the rules, but it may may pay off for us. See S and P's trying to get through this. Yesterday's open here, so as long as that's the case. If it looks like it wants to roll back over, then I'm definitely exiting. Yes, yeah. Build at 5.30 to close another Tesla. Close another Tesla at 5.80. So going against the old mighty 90 rules a little bit, but it's all right. at 320 and Apple to close half. Close another Apple at 350. See how the S and P broke through here, so that's why I'm continuing to hold these past their mighty ninety rules. Tesla, I may be getting out of it here. Now these aren't going to push up all day, so I I don't want to sit through any pullback here. Microsoft might be time to exit. See how it's it's just it's struggling a little bit. Not really pushing up with the rest of these. Gook's still going. One DTE is back in the green. Yes, I'm glad I didn't enter a TLC yet because it's got this, it's had this big push up. I think I'm going to close my Tesla though. Just take those profits. Let me see here. 
We got 15 seconds left. Let's wait. All right, here's the moment of truth. You're going to give us another push up here. Are we rolling over? SP I do like Tesla getting back up to highs of day, but Netflix bounced after a little pullback there. S&P does not look like it's done. Well, I'm not done. Still holding. Build at 580 to close another Tesla. I close another one at 630. And what a reversal. And we got 45 seconds left on this bar. So, again, I'm going to be watching it closely. Don't want to see any pullbacks.
Build at 350 to close another close an apple, close a quarter of apple. Microsoft still trying to get give me some back. I'm going to go ahead and close my Tesla and take those profits. Actually, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to hold my Tesla. reason I'm holding my Tesla here is it's uh it's one of the stronger stocks on the board Microsoft's still trying to push up for us. Netflix hitting highs of day. So Microsoft still trying to rebound here a little bit, but man, I've gotten a lot back from it. Thank goodness. Again, folks, if you're new, like I usually don't do this. I would usually just close these mighty nineties out after two consecutive green bars. But because we had such a big down move with the consumer confidence numbers coming out and now it's just, you know, sometimes you get these big reversals and so I've kind of just watched price movement and through my, through the all my years of watching price movement, seeing a rebound happen sometimes. If there would have been any type of potential rollover, I would have closed my, closed them out by now. But just kind of letting them, as long as it still looks like it's running up. 
I could see the S and P, you know, pushing up to where it opened. It's getting close. I'm going to go ahead and close this Microsoft out. Build at 272 to close Microsoft. I'm going to go ahead and close Tesla out. Build at 580 to close Tesla. And we're going to go ahead and just close Apple out. Build at 350 to close Apple. Woo! Man, thank goodness. Stayed on longer than normal, but got a lot back, so... All right. Thanks for sticking with me. Um, I will see everybody during power hour. Have a good one.